Let's take a look at number nine. This is adding and subtracting radical expressions. So we got six square root of thirty six x minus five square root of thirty six x. Okay, now no matter where you are in math, uh, if you can simplify your radicals, you should before you go on. Uh, even though it's tempting, since these are both the same radicals, to go ahead and handle this, uh, let's go ahead and simplify first. Now, in this particular problem, it would actually be a little bit easier to subtract the numbers out in front first. Um, but again, I'm trying to give you a general rule that will benefit you the most. And sometimes you can't even solve the problem if you don't simplify the radicals. Well, 36 is 6 times 6. So on both of these, I'm going to have 6 times 6, like that. Now with a square root, a uh, square root is where you don't have a number in this little slot here, your index. Uh, your index is 2 by default. So for a square root, we're looking for a pair of whatevers. Um, in this case, we have a pair of 6's. So a pair of 6's is going to come out in front, there, and here. Now when they come out in front, they come out uh, as a, that pair of 6's comes out as a single 6. And it's multiplied by the, the number that's already in front, which is a 6. Over here, we're bringing the pair of 6's out. comes out as a single 6, and we're multiplying it by the 5 that's already out in front. 6 times 6 is 36, square root of x, minus 5 times 6 is 30, square root of x. And it should be something about uh, combining together like items. Um, no matter what you have here, if this is the same as this, uh, no matter what it looks like, then you add or subtract the numbers that are out in front. Well, 36 minus 30 gives us 6 square root of x. Uh, 6 square root of x is A, is our answer.